Today is a fun day for me because I finally have a way to take time lapse and long term video in the field with my GoPro cameras without worried about getting them exposed or wet. And I'm doing this by using the newer DIY USB charging cables that have surfaced on the internet, as well as my Hydromote cable connected to an intervalometer, which allows me to program the camera to start recording at any point in the future and for whatever duration. Here are the close-up of my DIY cable that I made. Both of them, both cables are coming through compression fittings in the back of an LCD backpack door and are completely sealed off uh, from the elements. The hydro remote here is connected to a intervalometer which has, you can see, the countdown of about 13 hours until sunrise of the next morning. That was this morning. And my intervalometer is also set to take exposures of four seconds. That's long enough to turn the camera on or off. The interval of 13 and a half hours is the length between sunrise and sunset here in Seattle today. And the number of exposures is simply the intervalometer's exposures. That's one to turn the camera on and one to turn the camera off after the 13 and a half hours. Within the GoPro camera itself, you have it set in one button mode. I have it set to take time lapse photos every 10 second interval and five megapixel photos. After 13 and a half hours of recording, my memory card had only used up nine gigabytes, so I could easily take 24, 36, or longer hour uh, time lapses in the future. This is a much sped up version of the time lapse in post processing, but it is from beginning to end of the 13 and a half hour period. This low tide and flood tide here uh, doesn't lie, it's about six hours uh, from low tide to flood tide, so that's a good 12 hour stretch you're watching here in the video and I'm really happy how this turned out. The camera still read a full battery when all was said and done and was not too hot. And for more information, you can learn more at goprouser.freeforums.org, more about my Hydromote product at hydromote.com, including additional tutorial videos and other remote control ideas. For the USB charger, you can try an internet search for GoPro DIY USB cable. I particularly found a useful one that's on the internet now at instructables.com and I hope you find this video useful and I look forward to seeing your own videos in the future. Thanks!